This is the seventh grade TCAP practice test. This is the math section, question number 43. The figure shows a model for a sports team pennant. I'm hopeful that their actual color scheme is not white on gray because nothing inspires uh, fear more than a triangle that's white and gray, but either way. In this model, triangle PTL is similar to triangle ETA. So I'm going to add a little color myself here. PTL would be the big triangle. ETA would be the smaller one. So I'm going to break out the uh, two triangles a little bit and put some of their information on it. The orange one, oops, it helps if you actually press the correct button. Now, here's the deal. They love to do this on the TCAP test. They're going to trick you here. It's very easy for me to write 9 right there. And then my answer choice will end up being incorrect. To get from P to T, I can't do one big jump that's 9. It's actually like when you have to have a connecting flight. I'm going to take a little bumper flight and then another. So I need to add 9 inches and 7.5 inches to get my answer. So when I do 9 plus 7.5, I end up getting that this value should be 16.5. The question says that the triangles are similar, which means that you can create a proportion because the sides are proportional. And it totally meets my 2, 3, 4 thing. It's got two things. That would be the two triangles. It's got three numbers. The numbers are 13, 16.5, and 7.5. And you're looking for the fourth number, which they have written as h. So I can set up a proportion for this. I need to set up one ratio or fraction, whatever, for the orange triangle. So my orange one is going to be 16.5 over 13. And I'm going to set it equal to a ratio for the green triangle. In this case, I have to determine whether 7.5 goes on top or the bottom. Well, since the side that's just like it is 16.5, and it's the on top one in the first ratio, I'm going to put 7.5 on top of the other. Then I've got my h here. Then I'm going to do cross multiply and divide. So I do 13 times 7.5, which I think is 97.5. I'm going to check so I don't tell you the wrong thing. This gives me 97.5. And then I do 16.5 times h. To get rid of multiply, I need to divide, which is why the cross multiply and divide thing pops out. And it gives me 5.9090909. They want us to round it to the tenths place, so 5.9 is the answer. There's another way we can do it without setting up a proportion in case you don't like 2, 3, 4, and that's fine too. Uh, and that's to figure out what the relationship is between the sides and apply that information somewhere else. Now, to go from the big one to the little one, I'll do 16.5 divided by 7.5 because I'm trying to figure out what I multiply 7.5 by to get 16.5. So 16.5 divided by 7.5 gives me a factor of 2.2. Now, to get to 13, or uh, find h using 13, I do 13 and I divide by 2.2 and I get that same 5.9090909 or 5.90 repeating whatever uh, and I still get the same way. So if you want to do the divide and then apply what you found to find the proportion, I'm okay with that too. I just like setting our proportions because I like the two, three, fourth thing. That's just me. But anyway, the big issue here is to make sure that when you do, to, then when you do the problem, that you remember that going from P to T requires you to go through E to get there. So don't just pick this nine because they're trying to trick you into picking the wrong answer.